Sweaty cop! Hello again from Thailand! This is Douglas again. I'm in Chiang Mai in northern Thailand and uh, I just want to make a short uh, short video showing you some peculiarities of the uh, the plumbing arrangements here in Chiang Mai and I guess generally Thailand as well. Um, a lot of people who live in the West, I sure did when I lived in, in America, we assume that the whole world works the same as it does in, I don't know, California or whatever. And uh, I'm here to show you that it's not really the same. Um, there's many different ways of doing things. So let's, let's take a look at uh, my plumbing arrangements here in my, my uh, townhouse in Chiang Mai. Now this bathroom sort of um, connects to the kitchen here. Um, and one feature here is we have really poor acoustics, so I hope you enjoy that. Uh, the kitchen sink only has water, um, cold water, and actually cold water throughout the house. There's no uh, water heater per se. It's on demand in certain locations. But anyway, here we are. Uh, here's a snake. Uh, it's not really a snake, it's actually called a bum gun. Let me grab a hold of it and show you what it looks like. Almost every toilet in, China, in Thailand will have a device like this right next to the toilet. On the right or the left. And uh, it's got a little valve here. Shoots out water. Oh, by the way, there's a drain. Uh, nearly every, pretty much every uh, bathroom in Thailand is uh, Tiled over and has a drain at the lowest point. In fact, uh, they also have usually there's a lip where you step down into the tour, into the a bathroom. Um, I guess that's just a remnant of their experiences with floods here in Thailand. And uh, if there is any sort of issue, this is, turns into a sort of sump for any flooding into the house. Uh, so the way that the hose is used. I'm not sure if I can show you and, and keep my uh, YouTube channel, but uh, you're basically sitting on a toilet, haven't done your dirty deed, and then you reach back behind yourself and give yourself a little shot. Now, and that cleans off whatever is dirty back there, if that makes any sense. Um, uh, it's, it behooves you to check out the strength of the hole before you try anything. On yourself, it's actually a pretty, pretty, uh, but my pretty mild shot of water. And it's, uh, some people call it a bidet, but it's not technically a bidet. A bidet in France is something where they have a separate um, uh, facility, or what do they call it? Uh, and you just hover over and sit there, and it squirts you. Uh, in Japan, they have uh, magic little uh, things you with a, with a electronic controller on it, and it. And it shoots you with hot water or cold water or here or there or it has a little uh, cooler. I mean, a, there's a fan that blows air on you and things like this. Uh, this is a little more simple and reliable. Uh, I notice we still use toilet paper. That's simply to blot up the water from the bum gun. And uh, that is really the standard way of uh, doing toilet in, in Thailand. Um, it's a little bit weird and disoriented, but when you first come here, and uh, it's some people have, some people refuse to use it at all. But it's part of um, adapting to a new situation in another country. That's sort of all I really wanted to share you with, with you uh, on this. Um, I remember I was born in San Diego, and I used to hop across the border into Tijuana, Mexico, just to enjoy the uh, the uh, the cultural shock. And uh, well, when I was given a subscription of uh, for 
uh, in National Geographic when I was a kid, and I said, here's many, many places around the world where I can uh, enjoy the culture shock. And so um, I've always uh, enjoyed the differences and uh, minor differences and uh, ma major similarities we all have, of course. And uh, I hope, uh, hope this prepares you. If you're coming to Thailand, you won't be surprised by anything. Um, at least we'll be surprised by the toilets. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little segment and uh, stay tuned for more developments.